Hi guys, Chris here from cntmachineplans.com. I've done a little bit more work on the mill. Um, not too much more. I've been milling some plates and just different things that can, you know, obviously, I'll hopefully get it all together. I've been doing that all on the CNT router. It is a little bit slow and tedious, but, you know, it, it, it is doing the job. What I'm hoping, though, is that when the mill is all together, then I'll be able to redo the parts um, just, you know, a lot more cleanly to replace the parts that I've done on the CNC router. They have come up really nice. I'm really actually happy with, with most of the parts that are coming off it. Um, I have been chamfering, you know, different pieces here and there and just coming up with a really nice finish on them. But that's as far as edge quality goes. One thing I am missing is the use of fly cutters and face mills and that sort of thing, which I'm hoping to run on the mill, which will give me a better finish, obviously, on top and bottom. So that's about the only thing I really miss at the moment um, in trying to get all these parts made. But in saying that, um, the parts that have come in so far, I'll grab that and show you, it's ball screw. So the ball screws that a lot of people use are that style, so it's got the flange on it still. And so along the table and underneath the table and everywhere else, well not everywhere else, they usually cut off the top and bottom. I didn't I didn't particularly want to do that, so I've got that style there, which has the thread on it. So all I have to do is just mill the plate, tap it, and then I can just screw it straight on. So there's plenty of room here that way to go under the table. I don't need to mill anything under the table, off the bottom of the table. I don't need to cut flanges or anything like that, just screw it straight in. And away I go. So this is the shorter one, and that's for the traversing front and back. I've also got the one on the table, which is there. I'll swing that round in a second, I'll show you. But I'll just quickly step over to motors and that sort of thing. That's a NEMA 23. That's a 570 ounce motor, as you can see, two cables coming off it, um, one's for the encoder, and so, one's for the encoder, and the other's obviously for the, the actual stepper motor itself, so, they're 570 ounce motors, which I'm going to be using for the actual table, moving it around, and then I've got a NEMA 34 version of this as well which is going on the top and that'll lift the z-axis up and down so the mount or the shaft size is 8 mil on here so never tried closed loop steppers before so I'm super excited to you know get all that set up and really give them a run through all I've ever used before are gecko drivers, lead shine drivers that sort of thing um, but they've always just been an open system, so unfortunately when you lose steps, then, you know, it's, it's rehoming your system and starting again. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how these pull through. That's the plates I've been milling. That's a NEMA 34 mount. That goes on the end of the table. So, like I said, you know, the edge finish and everything... I'm happy with um, and you know I bought a little chamfering tool so I've been able to deburr it and chamfer the edges so I'm, I'm happy about that but yeah it's just top finish and that sort of thing I'd just love to run a face mill straight over it and just be able to shine that up a bit but I'll swing this camera around and we'll have a look at the ball screw that I've attached to the table and yeah there hasn't been too much done like I said before there's just a couple of plates that I've made um, I got the ball screws in got the motors in 
I got couplers in, so it's just really up to me now to get the rest of the um, plates milled, which will be happening sort of over the next two weeks, and then I can start reassembling it. So I'll swing this table around, we'll have a look at, or we'll swing the camera around, we'll have a look at the table. Alrighty, so there you can see I've got the end plate on here, and that's a 16mm ball screw, and again, the ball nut on it's just got a thread on it. All these ball screws that I ordered are um, a C7 grade, so you know normally I've just gone for the the eBay Chinese ones, which uh, I, honestly I don't know what rating they are. If they're a C7, if not, maybe C10 or something. Um, but yeah, this this one was C7. These are TBI ball screws, so. Again, super excited to try them out. Um, I've got the drill attached to it, but you know they're nice and tight. You can't feel any play in it, which is really good. This is the coupler that I've got for it. And that's about it for there. Alrighty, so as you can see here, this is the plate that I've made up for going on the top of the column. Um, just using standard ball screw with that one. One thing I changed my mind with last minute was going to a 16mm ball screw for here. I was originally going to go 20mm, but just changed my mind at the last minute. As you can see, you know, there's really not that much clearance around here so if I'd gone bigger you're not I'm not saying it won't fit but it might have just been a little bit more tedious just to you know line things up I guess I don't know but I just like to have room to play again that same style as ball screw before and that'll be going this way so got all my brackets and everything um, so yeah just waiting to mill up a few more parts and we'll we'll go from there I'll do another update soon of you know things put together and yeah hopefully we'll see it running very soon if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe and yeah, you can keep following me with what I'm doing okay bye